So I just want to follow up on the last video about hard and soft water and how efficient they are at rinsing soap powder. Um, so I'm going to do a little experiment just to show you. I've got a sock here which has been pre-washed in hard water. And if I take a sample of our soft water and just put it into this kilner jar, we're going to roll the sock up and put it in to the jar. Now you can try this at home if you haven't got a soft water system. Uh, if you just get some distilled water, uh, you can do get the same results from it. So there's no trickery, you can do this at home. So we put the sock in the soft water, seal it up, and then just start agitating it to release the soap powder, what is trapped within the fibres. Uh, so good shake, and after about a minute, um, you'll start to see that foaming is, is occurring. And of course we didn't put any kind of soap powder in there, this is just what is existing inside the fibres so just pull that sock out and just give it a a bit of a squeeze to show you what it um, has taken out and removed again just you can do this at home with a kilner jar and some distilled water which you can get from a supermarket right let's just hold it up to the light so the clear water what you see when we put it in is now murky and grey and you can see the suds on the top so it's just showing you that hard water cannot rinse or the, or the detergent out. It it's regardless of whatever you're using as well. If you look at the back of your soap powder, it does say that it is an irritant. And it's this irritants and this surplus, what's in the fibre, what is causing eczema. Get a water softener fitted today and it will sort it.